Hi, I'm Carl Robinson. I'm 91. And uh, my wife will be 91 next week. <laughs> so we're pretty old. And, uh, oh, I have five. Okay, can you name them? Five kids. One was, uh, my first one, Nina, a girl. Then it was Grant. And then it was Lisa. And then it was Glenn. And the last one was Brent. I was born in Missouri and my parents moved out to Visalia, California and three years after I was born. <laughs> we went through the, or well, I went through the school districts there and uh, when I was in high school, I, took, I played football, I ran track and field and I played basketball and uh, what got me to, Re to Reno was the basketball coach. I did get the scholarship to come over here when, when uh, they told me that what they were doing. And I came over and I played the four years of college football and went to class. Once. <laughs> I went to class well all the time. And uh, what happened, uh, I had a few jobs at, uh, up, at, up at Lake Tahoe. The book came about when uh, the church was meeting at uh, the chapel of the, of the uh, 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 Catholic, uh, Catholic High School and the chapel. Uh, that's where we were meeting. I happened to be on, on my computer and uh, a man named Jack Canfield uh, and his friend uh, Stephen Harrison were talking about book writing and they came up with a lot of information about it. And so that's, that's what turned me over to going to write a book. The book is about my life pretty much. Uh, starting with high school and college, then the military, being in the Air Force, and after after uh, being in the Air Force, I went back to school, back to the University of Nevada to get the courses I needed for teaching and coaching and uh, that's uh, the thing that got me going with, uh, with uh, education. Uh, I worked here at the University of Nevada. The training for the Air Force was, uh, first of all, you get a lot of schooling, a lot of learning about weather and and uh, the electric, electrical things that you use uh, and, and you learn about the airplanes. You, each airplane that you're going to fly, you get a lot of schooling on it before you get in the airplane. And uh, after, the, after the first uh, uh, Part of it is, is that you're beginning it lasts about uh, six months. The night intruder mission is when you take off uh, at nighttime, from any time when it's first dark to 
it gets sunny again, <laughs> but you, you usually have about a two hour flight and uh, you uh, are told where they want you to go. So from experience you know where to go and the things to look out for. The night intruder mission was to keep the North Koreans uh, busy. I met Patty uh, one particular time when I went. Uh, I graduated from college and uh, I, the Korean War hadn't started, so there was some times I think you could really it, take off and enjoy yourself. I was still down in uh, Los, in the Phoenix area uh, going to do all the learning about flying and stuff and uh, lo and behold on one of the times uh, one of my friends girlfriend uh, had invited a couple of girls to come down and Patty happened to be one of them. When I, when I went to Korea, uh, Patty was one who wrote to me a lot. I got letters from her and uh, I was about the only one was my mother and Patty. <laughs> We got married on June 3rd, 1953, and uh, from there, after the wedding, we went to, up to uh, Lake Tahoe and stayed at the South Shore. The one mission that uh, I was on and another lieutenant was flying on, we, we took off together and flew together. At that particular time, the, uh, there was a really a horrible, horrible cloudy area. A big storm was covering, covering the islands and I don't know how, how far out it went. But anyway, when that bomb went off uh, in the morning, we couldn't see anything except clouds. Uh, and that one mission over, over uh, in Weetalk, Patty was pregnant and was going to have a baby on the 10th of, 10th of June. Yeah. And I did get back for that. Okay, Operation Teapot was held at, at uh, uh, and we were at an air base there, which they've changed it to another name, and I can't think of it, either of them right now. Uh, anyway, we moved to, moved out in a desert of, uh, of Nevada for Operation Teapot, and. Uh, we went through the same rigmarole as we, we did in, in the islands over in South Pacific. Uh, only they, they had a lot more, a lot more size, not not a size, but a lot of different types of bombs that they used there to test things. And uh, how I got it, uh, I uh, was scheduled to fly the last mission again if there was a need for me to. Well, that, uh, that particular time, the, the bomb that I was supposed to uh, sample it turned out to be the high altitude bomb. I'd finished my time in the Air Force. 
actually I had a couple of more months than I was supposed to get out. I was in class 52 Baker and uh, they were supposed to get out in March 22nd in 1955, but I got to come out uh, on May the 15th. I was happy about that because I, I got paid for it. And, and uh, that was a scary thing, getting out of the Air Force and no job. The National Guard, I joined the National Guard in 1955 when I got back to, to Reno and they were transferring from prop driven planes to jets. After, after the B-57 they went to uh, 101 jets, which are really fast, and they were Puerto Rican. And about that time, that's when I lost the, my sight and my eye. Uh, when I became a principal of Incline High School, uh, I had a degree for it, so. The biggest problem I had there was with parents. <laughs> the kids were good. And out of the 16 years, I only had one year that I had a, I had a, had a tough year. <laughs> I dedicate this book to my wife, Patricia, who has been helping me for over 65 years and also for our children. Nina, Grant, Lisa, Glenn, and Brent. I also dedicate the book to, to, to the, uh, uh, to the University of Nevada. Now this book can be purchased from Arthur's Rest, from Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And uh, there might be some other places to get it to. I tried to get it to the University of Nevada here, but they wouldn't do it.